support us on Patreon to get access to member-exclusive benefits and first dibs on the latest Manchester United news. Hey, hey, hey guys, it's Old Man G here back again with another video for Red Devil Studio. Um, and it's regarding Marcus Rashford. Marcus Rashford being out for um, essentially two months with a back injury. Um, but before we go into the news, if you're new to the channel, please like, share and subscribe to Red Devil Studio. Follow us on Twitter, we United X, um, and smash that bell button for latest Manchester United news. Um, so yeah, Marcus Rashford, I'm going to give you my thoughts here. Um, obviously everyone knows Marcus Rashford was not available against Liverpool um, and Ole Gunnar Solskjaer has confirmed that he has basically got a stress fracture and will be out for a minimum of two months so basically in January now he won't be back till at least sometime in March maybe pr probably more towards the end of March given the fact that he has to come back to full fitness and once again that puts him as well as McTominay, Pogba and other players on the injury on injury list when we desperately need new players. We we lost obviously Lukaku and Sanchez. So essentially, in terms of forwards, we only have Tony Martial and Mason Greenwood. Martial, who's also potentially injury prone, and Daniel James who we've mentioned forward. It's 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 an absolute shambles to be quite honest. It's an absolute absolute shambles. And as a medic myself, when I saw that Marcus Rashford had a stress fracture. The reality is, and I know Solskjaer has basically said he picked the, that fracture up when he played against Wolves. He got he got an injury there, and yes, that probably exacerbated things. But the reality is that Marcus Rashford has probably had a back injury for quite some time now. Solskjaer did say earlier that he'd been having issues with back for a while, and the reality is the Wolves game exacerbated it. Stress fractures, in particular, are signs of um, overuse, overwork. That's why they're commonly um, gotten in the feet. Um, so it is not a like a like an acute thing. A stress fracture is often something that it takes a lot of time to go from, and you're not necessarily even a hundred percent when you get back. So this is something that could be have a long term implications for Marcus Rashford's performance and fitness in a long in, in a long term. So I'm just I'm just really really frustrated, rated to be quite honest, because um, once again the board. Um, have been terrible regarding actually bringing in replacements. If we had like a Haaland or any any additional forward, to be honest, that could come in um, and give some give some options, we would we would have been able to rotate during the December period. We didn't. Marcus Rash and I'm frustrated with Ole Gunnar Solskjaer and the coaching staff because essentially they had the opportunity at times to rest Marcus Rashford to bring in a Mason Greenwood to do something. Um, to 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 help to rotate the, the, the squad to give them time, and they didn't do that. They kept on playing Marcus Rashford because we need to win. And I understand, I understand that the pressure need to win games, but that's why Oli, frankly, you don't let someone like Lukaku go. You don't replace Lukaku. Um, you need you, you can't just rely on on having free 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 forwards. You need a, a depth in the squad and we don't have that right now you know so the fact that Mark Sasha is out who's been one of our main goal scorers is a huge huge blow for Manchester United Football Club it is a huge blow and if Edward of the board of Ollie if they have any sense they will go out into the transfer window and buy two midfielders and a forward as soon as possible because if United are going to do anything this season because I'm starting to think that this season is essentially going to be a write-off now if they're going to do anything this season, they need to get players in quickly. Thanks again for everyone watching. Um, if you're new to the channel, please like, share and subscribe to Red Devil Studio. Follow us on Twitter, We United X, and smash the notification button for latest Manchester United news. Let me know what you think in the comments. Maybe you think I'm reacting, but I think this is a disaster. Have a nice day, guys, and cheers.